Elizabeth Hurley shares her grief over the suicide of her ex and father of her son, Steve Bing. Hi, folks, and welcome to Extra. I'm Billy Bush. The news rattled Hollywood. The producer of films like Polar Express, Kangaroo Jack, jumped from his building, and today people are asking why. This is devastating news. Those are a heartbroken Liz Hurley's first words about the tragedy as today she shared these poignant photos from her relationship with Steve. Tonight, police are investigating the shocking death of her son Damien's father. Please, and the $600 million Hollywood movie heavyweight as a suicide. His body was found here in LA's Century City neighborhood. Steve reportedly jumped from the 27th floor of this luxury high-rise building on Monday afternoon. Liz and Steve waged a headline-making paternity battle nearly two decades ago over Damien. Their year-and-a-half relationship ended when Steve claimed he wasn't the father, but a DNA test conducted on a London tarmac proved that he was. And Elizabeth just revealed that they had become close recently and had spoken in April on Damien's 18th birthday, adding, I am saddened beyond belief that my ex Steve is no longer with us. Their son, who starred alongside Liz in the Royals. It was a very odd thing for me to have my son on set with me, but he, as a professional. Posted this sunset shot, thanking friends and family for their support and said, this is a very strange and confusing time. The incident happened at Bing's LA apartment building known as the 10K. You leave notes? One note for each kid. I spent the morning talking to some of my sources who live in that high rise. Uh, what I've learned here, Steve Bing had depression with a capital D. The whole coronavirus thing yes. definitely it was a really factor. messed with him. Another source tells me Steve was very depressed, but his close friends are still very shocked by his death. Thank you, sir. The real estate heir, who also fathered a child with tennis player Lisa Bonder, had been linked in the past to women like Sharon Stone, Naomi Campbell, Farrah Fawcett, Sheryl Crow, and even Nicole Kidman. He inherited $600 million on his 18th birthday from his grandfather. He was also a philanthropist who's said to have donated $100 million to former President Clinton's foundation, my source says they had suffered a falling out. President Clinton tweeted, I loved Steve Bing very much. I hope he's finally found peace. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.